Hey guys, so my new tutorial today is going to be about um, creating a particle effect like leaves blowing in the wind or falling off trees because I played a game recently, Need Speed Rivals, and that had an awful lot of um, leaves blowing in front of your car. And um, as much as it was a bit OTT, it was, um, you know, a nice particle effect and I thought, you know, I'd teach everybody how to sort of create something like this within Unity. So here's my example. So I'll just run my game and you'll see it within the trees and you'll see it falling down now you'll see in my scene here that you can see between the trees um, we get a lot of leaves falling down maybe a little bit unrealistic but this is just you know to make the example apparent that you can see you know the leaves falling from the tops of the trees okay so I'll show you how I initially made it so I've got my I've got my forest here which is nothing crazy just some trees and some bushes and stuff and um, I just baked the lighting out a little bit. Now what I've done is I've got a selection of leaves that I've got. Now I've created another tutorial which is about creating an alpha map for your textures so if you go to CG textures or somewhere like that you can download a bunch of leaves which then you can take the background out of so you can use it within Unity as an alpha cutoff so if you'll see that um, you know the alpha cutoff and some of these like if I show you this leaf on at the bottom here that I've got that if I don't set it as a cut off then you'll see the back, the white background so initially what I've done is if you watch my other tutorial we got I go into Photoshop take the background out and um, make an alpha channel on the texture and then what you can do is then bring that into um, your actual scene and make a, a texture from that. So what you do is actually you want to import your texture into your scene. So mine here, I've got three different leaves. And then what you want to do is create a new material. So create material, and then I've called it leaf one. It'll start off as a diffuse shader. You want to go down and create transparent cutout diffuse. And you want to make sure that you pretty much set your slider almost to the bottom so you get rid of the white edging on your material like if I pull this back you'll get the edging if I take it away you know we get the even leaf now then what we need to do is go to game object create other and then particle system now I've created this as a prefab so I can make it in my scene but you don't need to worry about that what you do is you go down to your renderer section and then what you can do is change your material to whatever you created so leaf one so I added leaf one to my slot there and you know I've just kept everything the same and then you make sure that it receives and cast shadows and you can set the normal direction to one and make sure it's billboard if not already then I'll go through my other settings and then I'll go that I want it to rotate over the lifetime so you, you want a leaf not just to fall um, so rigidly so you can set that to about 30 so it actually will rotate as it's falling you know to give it a sort of um, effect in itself and then if you tick force over lifetime it will make sure that it sort of moves in a particular way as if the winds pushing it in direction so you can set your um, X to 0 0.6 your Y to 0 0.3 and your Z to 0, minus 0 0.05 as I say with all my uh, particle tutorials you don't need to keep these exactly the same it's whatever you'd like to have and then you want to check velocity over lifetime which does a similar thing and you can set that to minus 3.3 minus 0 0.6 and Z can be 1.1 you want to have shape enabled if not already you want it to emit from a cone the angle wants to be 90 degrees the radius 5.75 and it can emit from a, um, a volume shell and tick random direction because you want it to have a random sort of variation then on the emission you can have the rate about 10 and leave everything as standard then on your leaves you can have the duration of around 10 set the um, the particle effect to looping make sure pre-warm is ticked make the start lifetime about 24 
start speed 1.4 start size depending on your leaves really I've had mine at 0.7 but depending on the size of your texture and the size of the leaves you want then the start rotation minus 34 gravity multiplier 0.07 because you don't want the gravity to pull it down so fast or you don't want the gravity to be so low that it rises up you just want it a very sm you know low amount of gravity then you can have inherit velocity of 5.77 make sure it plays on awake and have the max particle set it normally is at a thousand obviously you can change this if you don't want so many now obviously if you know you want to make this into a prefab what you can do is right click create prefab and once you have your particle effect over at this side you can just drag it into a prefab slot whichever you've created so you can then drag it in you know into your scene as many times as you like so you know it's quite straightforward to get it the hard part is just essentially making the um, alpha within un um, Photoshop then just importing it into Unity and then just applying it to a material and creating the particle system so again you know you get that sort of nice look when you're within a, a sort of foresty area that you know it looks like the leaves are actually falling off the trees that we've got in the scene so you know as ever thanks very much for watching and if you like the tutorial don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.